Okay, so breaking news, Fox have announced a new range of batteries, probably targeted more at the large to commercial customer, and you'll see why in a moment. Let's have a look at the first one. This is the new CQ range, and we're looking at two new product models, the CQ6 as well as the CQ16. The naming convention is uh, following what we've seen before with the relabeling of the e the ECS to now being called the EQ, and we've obviously got the EP, which is that that separate standalone wall mountable battery. So following that up with the CQ six, which is just shy of a six kilowatt capacity module. Interestingly, it's scalable right up to over eighty three kilowatt hours. Uh, things that stood out to me reading the spec sheet. I'm not sure how they're going to do it, but this apparently can be. Uh, expanded up to 14 uh, layers. So that's one of the master modules with 13 of the slaves. Uh, and that will bring you right up to that uh, 83 plus kilowatt hours worth of storage. The voltage range is another interesting thing to call out on the spec sheet. It goes right up to over 900 volts, which means that it's not going to be compatible with any of the single phase systems currently, because they are limited, I believe, to 500 volts. Um, and especially if you're on one of the more earlier H series models where they're 400, 450 volts or 440 volts. So something about this stack, a couple of things that I'd like to see unpacked uh, when we next speak to Fox are, what is a 14 layer battery gonna look like and how tall is that? Or will it be broken up into two stacks uh, with some kind of connecting cable, which is more more um, realistic as to how they're going to do it. Because the uh, the current EQ forty eight hundred, if you stack that nine high, that is a very large system. So you're not going to be able to. Uh, you need a ladder to, to stack a fourteenth unit on top of this. Uh, what inverters are going to support this over nine hundred volt? Uh, operating voltage on this battery uh, system. You can see in the design, it's very similar to the current uh, EQ or ECS style battery module. They've just put more cells into it. Maybe it's physically bigger. I haven't checked the dimensions that they label here, but maybe the actual module itself is larger or they're putting a third brick into each of the layers. IP65 still, so it's indoor outdoor. And they state that here, indoor outdoor. Uh, same operating uh, temperatures and storage temperatures, normal convection. So that is a sneak peek into the CQ6. As I learn more, I will share. But uh, it looks to be a very high density stack of um, EQ style uh, form factor. Well, that's that's what we've got there. What I'm really excited about is something that we haven't seen from Fox outside of the G series, which is this CQ16, 16, 16 kilowatt hour modules, scalable up to 241 kilowatt hours. Uh, this is IP20, so I assume because of the additional cooling and fans, uh, it's only going to be indoor rated. The way that they're describing it in the marketing is that it will, can scale up to four towers of these batteries. And you have this uh, main unit with the isolator switch on that they're calling the uh, CQ box or the charge controller uh, box. This one, again, the voltages uh, go right up to, where is it? I saw the voltages earlier, might have been in the manual, it's over 700 volts. Each module itself, is um is that sort of normal lfp style cell 46 to 58 volts uh nominal capacity is very high charge and discharge uh, amperage available if we have a look in the manual we can see here yeah, the operating voltages so if you've got a full stack of these uh, combining them all you're going to be at 768 volts giving you that 241 kilowatt hours worth of storage. They go in on the manual, they also describe uh, some of the cooling, the, the terminals, there seems to be a different way of connecting these together from looking at this. And also in the images they were showing, 
these connection straps that are connecting and daisy chaining the batteries together. There's uh, a bar that goes all the way across the top uh, that connects everything together from what this looks like. So they are operating uh, serially. Anyway, we don't want to go too deep into it because we're not sure what inverters are going to support this. There is mention on some of the uh, social media marketing that this will be the plus inverter model that supports that. That looks to be a US inverter so far that is kind of a modified um, H3 Pro looking unit, but uh, targeted towards large US uh, commercial business. I'm hoping that there is some kind of way that the CP6, sorry, CQ6 can be used with single phase inverters. I think having the ability to have 80 plus kilowatt hours of storage is starting to become quite relevant uh, off a single inverter in the UK. Multi inverter systems obviously exist today already with the generation 2H1 or the K series, they can be parallel together. Uh, speaking from experience and trying to install a multi inverter, multi battery setup, that kind of product availability hasn't quite hit. Uh, the DNOs and the national grid yet. So it is quite difficult to convince them to uh, to issue uh, permission on multi-inverters with large batteries. I haven't seen or been able to install uh, a customer beyond two inverters with uh, two sets of batteries. I haven't seen a three inverter setup um, being approved yet. Um, but then again, uh, I haven't seen every single install that, that's gone out there. I've seen a lot of three-phase systems that are parallel, lots of H3s together, but um, on the single-phase stuff, no, not yet. So it'll be interesting to see where the CQ range fit and uh, see some out in the world, see some photos, whether they are primarily targeting this kind of grid operators or large commercial, where the G series uh, has been quite successful across Europe. I've seen a number of social media photos of the G series that uh, – multi hundred kilowatt hour commercial grid storage unit see where the cq uh, fits and more importantly where the cq6 fits so hopefully you found that interesting to see these two new products coming out from fox thanks